Good evening, everyone. Anna here. I'm here to show a, um, a not real big haul. I went to an antique store and a couple of um, thrift stores in my area, and I picked up some jewelry. It's all right here. I'll start showing it in just a moment. Um, I picked up this picture. Look at that. Isn't she cool? It's charcoal. It's signed B. Coat Cronin. I have to s figure out who it is. I don't think it's anybody big, but I think it's amazing. Look at that. I picked that up. I'm going to hang it up. I don't know where. Probably wait till I move. I'll probably put it in a bag and hang it up after I move in the spring. I think it's marvelous. So it looks like she's fading on the one side. You can see like the darker shadows there. Like she's disappearing or something. But I thought it was pretty marvelous. That's why I bought it. Um, anyways, there's that. I have a number of pieces of jewelry to show here. If you see anything you're interested in purchasing of the jewelry... You may email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. My email's always down in the description section in my video. I didn't get my fabulous lots in I'm waiting for. Hopefully they come before my sale Monday. Um, that's my hopes. But if they don't, I will sell what I have. <laughs> Again, if you see anything you want, let me know. I'm going to make this smaller, and I'm going to go down like this. You can kind of see the lady still, but kind of not. And I'm going to start showing the jewelry that I did find. Um, in no particular order. This is a modern Trafari. Um, it's on the card. There is no signature on it. And it's signed uh, in the back. It says China. The jewelry is no longer being made in the United States. And it's on a card. The newer stuff without a mark, maker's mark on it. I did read that in the book. Um, the Trafari book is online. It's still pretty nice. It looks gold plated. Um, it's gold tone, I would say, though. There's the back. Again, there's no Trafari marking on it. But it looks good. Um, I would bet it sticks to a magnet. A lot of China jewelry does. Not all of it. Just fabulous China jewelry. Don't get me wrong. I don't have a magnet in front of me. It fell on the ground. Let me grab it. I'm just curious to see if I'm right on that one. No. <laughs> I don't know. I have to look at it better. Um, I believe it was on a Trafari card, so I'm assuming it is. It's not sticking, and it means it's a different kind of metal under there. But pretty cool, I think. That is um, plastic, and then those are glass rhinestones. I don't know why there's a piece cut off of it. Maybe it was the price tag because somebody gifted it, but there it is. That's a Trafari brooch. A bird. Um, I got this at antique store. It's a cork. I think it's sterling plated. I'll check it out and make sure it's not all sterling. But it's to open a bottle of wine. A cork thing. Corkscrew isn't that what they call it? Look at the details. Pretty nice, actually. Ow. I stabbed myself. There's that. Oh. Mm. I have this set. I've been saving these. I will have a sale uh, in the springtime where I pull out a bunch of spring jewelry. I've started keeping it. These are the Flower Power. This is perfect for the 4th of July, red, white, and blue. Um, it is uh, metal with enamel. That's that. These are clips. Pretty nice, I think. Yeah, red, white, and blue. Uh, I have a number of, probably like 30 at least now, different flowers. Um, this is a... Um, this is Crown Trafari. That's that is a Leo, I believe. A cat, a lion. Look. Me hanging up. It's signed Crown Trafari in the back. I did look to make sure. It has a spring ring clasp on it. Um to be Crown Trafari, your mid it's mid-century on Crown Trafari. Per the copyright symbol being there's Crown Trafari prayer. Prior to copyright and then after, and this one is has a copyright, so it's after fifty five to sixty nine approximate. I think it's well, that is the dating. I know it is. I don't think, but it's pretty cool. It's a Leo, Crown Trafari Leo necklace. I know Thumb is a Leo necklace. Thumb, let me know if you need one, if you have one of these, if you watch me. Um, she's a Leo. I do know that. Pretty cool. So is my. So is Eva's father. I found a number of pieces of Crown Trafari. Uh, somebody must have collected it. It was all in one store. I found this and I've sold them prior. But I was on a patent website. So I want to pay. I want to keep this one for a little while. And maybe pay some attention to it. This is. Um, it's textured. Very lovely. Shiny and textured. Signed Crown Trafari. Like I said on a patent website. I'd seen these I believe. And I want to. It has a thorn coming out and everything. It's pretty 
lovely. It's like three inches. I've sold a huge one. I even remember who I sold it to. I, I guess I have pretty good memory. I don't attribute myself. I mean, give myself credit, not attribute. It's nice. That is Crown Trafari. Again, look how well made it is. It's mid-century. This is a snake. This is more modern, but look at him. He's pretty cool. He's rhinestones. Clear rhinestones, gold tone, and black enamel. And there's the head. It's green eyes. It's cute. This is about three inches easy, maybe bigger. Not quite sure. I'll measure it later. I didn't measure it now. Um, green eyes, gold tone. It's costume. It's, like I said, more modern. Let me show you again. There you go. Cool. I think it's cool. Um, I found, I picked up, like I said, I was on the patent website. These are um, a little better of Crown Trafari, I believe. I'm going to pay, go on the website and, and see what they, if they, you know, what they are. That one look pretty nice. It has Trafarium on it. It has the glossy, shiny, shiny, and then the, um, the textured finish. There's this is sign crown trafari in the back with a copyright, meaning it's mid-century. Once without the copyright fall into mid-century too. They just were, they started to make them earlier on. I can't remember the exact date. This is also a crown trafari. And I'm pretty certain, more than like 90 per, well, we'll say 70 percent certain this is on the patent site. This one, I think. I'm gonna go look. Trying to pay attention to it so I can date jewelry appropriately. But this has the trafarium once again mid-century because it's crown trafari for copyright and it's shiny and it is textured nice so i found a decent amount of crown trafari when you think for i had a small run here's a beautiful one look at this that's also crown trafari let me make sure that's correct because this looks like 70s yeah yeah probably late 60s on this there's the backing um, I can't, I'm not going to enlarge it, but it says it has a crown above the T for crown trafari and has a copyright. And that's acrylic and gold tone, a trafarium coating all around. You can see it and, um, and it has white enameling and this is in really, really great shape. This looks like it could have been made yesterday. It's at least two inches, could be bigger. It's pretty marvelous, I think. I like it. This reminded me of Sylvia. Sylvia, if you watch... I don't know, it's probably not as beautiful as hers, but look, it's beautiful. I think I, it's nice. I think it's Sarasky crystals on it and pearls, faux pearls. Per, I think they're glass, and this has a nice toggle on it. Look how pretty. It's beadwork. She does a lot of beadwork, Lady Sylvia. Look how pretty. Oh, I love it. Um, That's a toggle right here. Oh, this. That's nice, right? What can you say? It's gray faux pearls and beautiful pink crystals. Faceted crystals with a toggle that I did not test. This. I picked this up. I don't know if it's lab created, like man made, or if this is natural. It's a little large. Um, but I will confirm it with the jeweler. He'll, he'll be able to tell me if the snap of a finger. With this loop, I'm learning. See how beautiful it shines out? I really like it. Oh, and this is silver. It's sterling. I'm going to hold on to it for a while. I was selling it really cheap on Thursday to try to be, you know, to give back. But I don't have any Laramar, and I, so I'm going to keep it. But I did test it. It is sterling silver on that. I wanted to make sure because there is a bulk of fake silver jewelry going around, and I I just wanted to make sure because I wasn't, I couldn't remember. I had any of my silver. Oh, my gosh, that, that's actually beautiful. I like it. My birthstone is sterling. I mean, it's a sapphire, and I've never had one of those. It's a little big. Well, I mean, it's a bigger one. These are Tasco. I'm going to show them to you. I don't know if they're a phoenix or a parrot. You can see what's laying there. I will pull them out. Signed Mexico TC254. I did look them up in a car real quick and see that that, you know, that is Tasco. I know there's fake Tasco as well. Um, going out there, it's fake everything. I don't know if it's a phoenix or a parrot. Does anybody have any input on that? You think that's a parrot? Maybe it's a parrot. It's cool though. These are nice sterling silver earrings. I will test them before I sell them. But let me enlarge it. Why not? To show you. TC254. They need wiped up. I will wipe them down before I you know, sell them. Cute. 
I think. I don't know if they are, uh, let me hold them still for you so you can look at them yourself without moving them. I'm concentrating, guys. No, seriously, I'm making an effort. Trying not to, oh, I found a lovely pair of gloves, too. I didn't put them on. I was going to because my nails weren't done. And I tried putting them on, and I ran out of glue. So if you notice anything on the nails, don't mind. Beautiful, though. Look, I got these thing antique store. Lace. I like them. They fit, too, but I don't have them on. Um, old gloves. They're comfortable. They're a nice texture, I think. I don't know. I think they're cotton. I will look for a tag. Oh, they're marked. So these are cotton made in western germany six and a half the gloves came in sizes how cool right they fit me they fit me pretty comfortably 100 percent cotton made in west germany k f u c h s fuch design i don't know how to pronounce that i could it looks like a dirty word doesn't it kind of very nice though nice i like them west germany vintage gloves lovely lovely okay I think this is at clay. I can't remember what it's called. Again, I, I probably should because I've been told like 20 times. That's crystal. These are like, I'm not going to call them Swarovskis because I don't know, but they're very pretty pink faceted crystals. And this is that clay that I cannot remember what it's called right now. The uh, flowers. I think it's pretty nice. I like it. It's dainty. It may go with the summer sale stuff. Okay, so I'm trying to uh, separate a little bit. This needs a bath, and I will wash this, soak it. I can. Those are amethyst balls on there. Look how beautiful they shine. But this needs clean. This looks a little worn. It, it will clean up. It's not damaged, um, unless it's supposed to be a color. But I'm going to soak it and wash it, actually, to see, you know, if I can't make it look better. Wash it in some Dawn. But those are amethyst balls. Look how pretty that is. I like it. Sorry, strung on fabric i think it's silk it's one of those ones you can pull tighter or loose it's pretty nice i found oh i found myself a clown you know i like my clowns on a ball i don't have this one i have one on a bike this looks like it should be a jj there's the back it is gold plated gold tone oh i don't really know if it's plating or just a gold tone and i'm um, sorry i need something to hang my brooches off of better look how cool I love it. I'll keep it. I, I collect clowns. These hair faceted glass. Oh, very nice glass. So I found there's two sets or one set. Look how beautiful. Look like vitriol glass. Two like shades like, but I think there's coating on these actually on the in outer part. I don't know. I'll determine that, but look how pretty. Uh, these are not, I wouldn't call them AB per se. Um, They're beautiful. There's 10 of them. Or eight, four, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine. I think I'm missing one. Maybe not. One came of five, one came of four. I bought them like at the same place, two packs. They're very nice though, huh? Stretch. Stretch is in great shape. I checked it before I bought them to make sure they weren't falling apart. They're beautiful. When I keep hitting my camera, I'm sorry, it's like right in front of me. This is very nice. This is something I look at for a little while, anyways. Look how pretty. These are AB. AB faceted glass. With bright clear rhinestones on the uh, tips. You see that? I, I'm looking at a very Haskell book. Now, the only reason being is I see one, I believe it looked a lot like this in the book. I'm pretty certain. So, I'm going to check it out. I did order the book because um, I wanted to be able to understand, like, what I was looking at if I thought I had something. It has that metal piece that has to punch holes every so often apart um, under there, and it's wired. Everything's wired on, and then it has to cap. So, per my reading the book, this would be prior to the war on these backings. Like, they uh, added the backings, like, in 19... I, I can't remember exactly, mid-40s. The war ended in 1945. They started these covers in the 40s sometimes um, when we entered the war, okay? All right, so I don't know if it's Miriam Haskell. That's just a thought in my head. Hey, maybe it is. If it's not, it's still beautiful, and I like it, so I grabbed it. Um, this is a Monet on a card. I think this is 90s Monet by looking at that or eight 90s 80s 90s something like that 
Um, some people may, somebody may know that right off the top of their head, but I don't. It's signed Monet, a capital M with a copy, everything else lowercase with a copyright before the M. And this is on the card, so I got it because it, I thought it was cool. And I do think it is 90s, but it's a feather, right? It's big. It's like three inches. So there's that. This is a fantastic. I love this. It's a teapot. I collect small containers. And it looks like it has gold plating. I'm not necessarily enough. And it kind of looks cloisonne, but I don't think that's... Well, I don't know. I'll look at it closer. Looks like it's cloisonne to me. Um, gold tone. Not sticking to a magnet. And none of it is. I'll check it out. Pretty cool. It's a nice decoration. I keep it. It has like that um coating on the inside and i didn't see any markings on it but i'm gonna look i really like it it's a little teapot i don't like how my teapots this was at the antique store so i don't think it's antique but i i love i love ships something to know about me i do and these almost look like they're like like uh gold tone gold like supposed to look like stamps or something i have no idea what they are i'll look them up it's a bunch of ships though let me show you the back this um this is probably like some kind of collection they sold on tv or something you know i don't know what that is back there but you see that anyway so they all have that in the back um not the pin i'm talking about the marking they all have the pin too but I, it's cool. What's that say? I can't read that. And then there's this one. I'll show them all. Because there may be other ladies or gentlemen, if I have any men that come on my channel, that like ships. Who doesn't? Really, they're beautiful. The old ones like this. I'll look them up. Let's see. I just find them pretty uh, nice. It's not gonna be a quick show. Um, it's not jewelry, so I shouldn't get yelled at that for an object. And it's bro these are pins. These are pins. So there's jewelry. Cool, huh? They may notice any some of these look like like do these no, they're not the same, but they have the same color in the background. You know what I mean? Same color of um almost like the cyan blue back there on this. Or cyan, how are you pronounce it? Okay, so I have those. I think they're fabulous. Um, this is a little Avon ring. Let me make it small again. It does not need to be that big. Avon costume ring. I thought it was cute. It was really inexpensive and I liked it. Signed Avon Bakla. That's not showing it. Let me put it on here. It's just a simple. All right, it's Avon. I picked up a couple of scatters because I like them. There's that one and this one. Claire rhinestones. This kind of looks bent out of shape. I'll show this one first. Pretty cute. I buy these whenever I see them. I like the scatters. Um, I sell them as well, though. This is a layered one here. This one looks like it could be a uh, a Weiss or something. It's unmarked, though, as far as I could see. I'll look again. It's clear rhinestones. I picked it up. It wasn't real expensive. I thought it was cute. This is one of those ones that are, like, layered there's several layers. I think he's like the ones that almost look like they screw together. You know what I mean? It needs, I think it needs straightening. Cool. Um, this bird, I do not know. Um, I don't know. I'm going to check it out. It's pretty. Am I even holding it right? That's how the pin goes. Do you see? It has a green eye and clear rhinestones. And it looks like it's gold plated. I... I have to check it out and see. It's soldered. Those pieces are soldered on the ends. I believe it's a more modern bridge, though, but I'll look at it closer. I don't see a maker's mark on it. It's cute. Its eye is green. And am I holding it right? I'm assuming I am because the pin's going that way. Or you can hang it. There we go. Wait, is it look better like that? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I am myself confused. Okay, it's a bird. See it? It's about two inches, maybe a little more. This is one of those things. Oh, I, got, I can't remember what it's called. It's a hand. It's jade. And it's a hand with the 
thumb up in between the fingers meant to protect from evil. Um, these, I, I'm not going to say what I've read about it. If you know what it is, it is, but it's supposed to be like protection. It's jade. Let me try to glue it to see if it has filler in it. I do like to try to do that occasionally because something, somebody told me and I believe them. Um, okay. Cool. It's a piece of jade on sterling that needs clean to see the finger coming up in between or the thumb coming up in between there protection this is about two inches it's pretty cool it's a piece of jade like i said um two simple brooches i like to pick them up when i see them especially around christmas this is a jj angel and this is just i believe this one's this is modern looking back there this is a uh a penguin adorable penguin and jj angel this is a, what I believe to be, not quite sure on exact dating, looks like pressed glass to me. Let me show it close. We have a toggle, I don't know if it's sterling or not, but here's the glass. What'd you call that? Oh, I'm not going to ask what you call it. I'm calling it pressed glass, or uh, I have to test it. I don't think it's any kind of stone or anything, it's glass, and it seems it's vintage. At least it looks to be to me. Um, here, let me show it. It sounds, listen to it. Sounds good too, right? I will show it. I didn't test it. I don't think it's any kind of stone. I think it's glass. Yeah, it's not overly cold. But that's that necklace. Let me hang it, double it up and show it to you, I guess. I don't have a whole lot, but I have been on here 20 minutes, so I know I slowed down a little bit so people can actually see. There you go. It's strung on chain, and it appears to be molded. Oops, molded glass, pressed glass. It's nice. Um, this is quartz. Different, like we've different colors here. Quartz necklace. I don't know if it's gold filled or not. It has a that type of clasp, a um, barrel clasp, and these. It's quartzy. It's modern. I know that. Um, still grabbed it because I thought it was nice. These are B A R R A. I think the next thing I'm going to show you are signed B A R R A Sterling. Let me put them up. They're sterling silver. They're not overly heavy. They're not cheap either, though. They're decent airy, but they're not heavy, heavy. These are Paris. Again, signed B-A-R-R-A. -R -R -A. And that's what they look like. There's say sterling back there, too. Or is it 925? I, I want to give you the correct information. Sterling. These were, when I looked them up online, they said they were vintage. I'd have to search them a little bit better to make sure the company, because it's a new company new name to me, but they're nice. There's those. Sterling silver, Paris, kind of like a half of a hoop. Not real heavy, but a quality um, pair of earrings. And then I have this necklace is loft. I thought it was, I thought it was really beautiful. I, like the faceted glass on the bottom. Let me make sure it's untangled. It is signed loft, like I said, up pair, L-O-F-T, and it has a, uh, spring ring go to look how pretty I mean okay it's pretty I'm gonna double it up and I'm gonna hang it up and show it to you here on the green neck it's beautiful it's purple fastened glass and gold tone and it's magnetic I, I just wanted to see loft I mean maybe they played it I don't know we're gonna call it gold tone they're true they have nice jewelry though I mean this is nice this is not a vintage necklace per se, maybe vintage loft, but it's pretty. Then just a, this is like a Baruki type of uh, freshwater culture pearl that's peacock right there, stretchy. I'm on a lookout for a Tahitian pearl bracelet and earrings and a ring that I can afford, which probably isn't going to happen. I found mine for an amazing price, the one the necklace that I have, but that's pretty. And then this, this is plastic lucite plastic hey i don't know it's plastic let's call it that how's that um looks like lucite to me i think it is all right so that's it that's what i have if you want to purchase any of it you may email me and i beg variants too why not show them i picked them up because i thought that these were cute and i've been grabbing a sun since i found that one and, and i did sell that to a subscriber that has been a great customer to me um I went ahead and sold it. 
because I have no problem with doing that. But these are sun earrings. I don't think they're the name. I can't remember. I'd have to go look in my message who the person even was, the uh, artisan. It's terrible. But those are just costume little ones. And then these are very, I thought these were very pretty. Look at the abalone. Um, pair of earrings are very nice, I thought. I like them. Pretty. And these, these look 1980-ish. Um, large. I don't know if there's a maker on them. I'll look, but black enamel and gold tone. Pierced earrings. And these are knockers that have some knockers, yeah. Uh, knocker earrings. That I don't know if that's anything. I don't think it is, but these are pierced earrings. Um, red enamel and silver tone. So that's what I have. This is what I found today. And um, hopefully my lots come in from before Monday. I'm really hoping so the preview video for my sale will not come out until Monday because I need more stuff. I'm going to have to go through my own things if that doesn't come and sell some of the stuff I have been collecting. But anyways, I think it'll be here. Wait till you see this. I have some pretty good things in there. Um, a lot of rhinestones, some unique pieces. Pretty cool. But all right. I will talk to everybody again um, Monday. That's when my preview video will come out. And I will be on at 8 p.m. Eastern time on Monday as well, which Monday is the 28th. I'll be on at 8 Eastern time. Hope to see you then. Thank you. Have a good night.